Kyle's been a dangerous player all year. Can you just talk about the play of him in today's game? Yeah, I mean, Kyle's, uh, you know, he's, he's a great talent. He's a great teammate. Um, you know, he can score. He can assist. Um, he works extremely hard. Um, he's just a great all-around kid. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's hard to end like this. Uh, he worked real hard out there, but I think uh, Western did a good job of uh, limiting his opportunities and uh, you know making life difficult on him. And uh, what you know, Western got the first goal, and then within 15 seconds, you guys were able to strike back and, and kind of keep that game at one-one. How important was that for you guys? You know, and then uh, Western was able to get a goal uh, later in the second half. You know, kind of talk about the momentum shift there. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I think soccer is kind of a funny game. It works like that a lot of the times. Uh, you'll see a lot of times teams score, and then you know within a few minutes uh, the equalizer will come. And so uh, you know that was obviously good because uh, you know you don't want them to get that head of steam going too much on you. And uh, you know so we even the game out again, and then uh, you know they struck quick on two quick goals, and uh, you know really made it hard on us because uh, they're going to drop in and protect their lead and. You know, we're going to push numbers forward and uh, exposes us a little in the back. And, you know, they could have got a couple more on us maybe. Uh, um, but that's what you got to do. And miss the penalty kick. Don't really give yourself a chance to, uh, you know, to really compete in those last few minutes. Yeah, so. that was going to bring me to my next question. You guys were able to push numbers forward. You got the PK, um, you know, and try to make it a 3-2 game. How, how big was that save that East Dietrich made on you guys? Yeah, I mean, um, I think he, he went real early. Um, and uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, Luke goes uh, goes where he goes, and uh, I think if he would have picked his head up and looked a little bit, I mean, he's went pretty early um, to cover that goal, and he might have done us some scouting on us uh, in terms of uh, you know he's taken a few PKs this year, so I mean, he was pretty much in the corner before the whistle even blew, you know. So, um, but he covered it well, he smothered it, and. Uh, you know, really didn't give us an opportunity to fight back. So, I mean, that's a huge save out of Eves. Absolutely. And, you know, moving forward, you know, where you guys go from here, you, you still have a great, great ball club. Uh, you're going to have guys coming back. Where, where do you go from here? Uh, you lick your wounds, you know. Uh, it's difficult to end like this. Um, but, you know, we were know we were in for a dogfight. I mean, if I were to be honest with you, I mean, I didn't want to see Western Illinois get into the tournament to begin with. I mean, because, you know, I know Coach Johnson does an amazing job with his team. Um, they play great at tournament time. Um, you know, that shows in their record at, at tournament time. Um, I think maybe this is their fifth or sixth uh, championship. And uh, so I knew if they got in and got hot, they'd be difficult. And then, you know, um, we got that result on them pretty handily in the in the regular season. So, you know, that's, you know, that's going to give them an extra incentive playing on their home field. That happening, I think, um, you know, we knew we were in for a dogfight. Absolutely.